Hey guys, today we're analyzing network traffic for malicious activity using Wireshark. We got the PCAP we're analyzing today from malwaretrafficanalysis.net. It's a great place to learn Wireshark since they provide traffic to analyze, as well as tips on how to filter Wireshark and what to look for. Um, here's some of the tutorials provided by the actual websites. Before we get started, understand we are working with real malware, so be careful. Since we're working with a Windows malware today, you should probably run Wireshark on a Linux machine um, just to be safe, just like I'm doing here. So anyways, let's get started. First, open up the PCAP with Wireshark. Kind of already did that here. I also highly recommend you have the same column layout as me. Um, and I can show you them right here. So yeah, I just highly recommend you have the same layout and format, just so it's a little bit easier to analyze this traffic. So we're going to look for HTTP.request. Um, we're going to filter Wireshark by that. And we're going to find some try up. Uh, so we're going to find some traffic. Um, and let's see what's going on. So it looks like um, there's some type of uh, program that was downloaded. Um, let's actually see. Go back. Let's actually see if we can actually um, download uh, what they downloaded. And as you can see, there is some type of object we can export. Um, and this looks kind of suspicious. I mean, it's a PDF, nothing too crazy there. But let's just go ahead and just double check. So we're going to save this. Um, and I'm going to save it here. So anyways, let's go over there cd into wireshark objects um let's see what this file is so this looks like an executable for windows um all right interesting let's see if it's an actual virus so we're going to use the sha sum 256 version and we're gonna get this hash here. Let's go ahead and check virus total to see if it is a virus. Now this would only work if this is not a zero day virus. Keep that in mind. Here we can look up the hash. And as you can see, this does appear to be a virus. We can look at the behavior and see what it does. Looks like it makes you know HTTP requests to this site, which we kind of saw that earlier. These are the different IPs that it connects to. And there's some more information here that we can look at. But for now, let's just ignore that. So now that we know that this is in fact a virus, let's go ahead and check uh, which user actually uh, downloaded this virus. So the, the best way to do that is one, we're going to apply the IP address as a filter. And we're going to check the Kerberos traffic. Kerberos.name. Go ahead and filter that out. Just pretty much pick on any um, address here. Since we're filtering Kerberos, click on Kerberos. This record here, this body here. And where's the C name right here? And there you go. That is the actual user that got infected. Um, so let's make a note of that. And if we wanted to, we could also apply this as a column for some reason, if we wanted to know. Um, now let's actually go back real quick. So now that we know that this was in fact Monica that got infected, we also know at what time she got infected at 1940 uh, UTC. We know Monica's IP address and the IP address where she got infected. And something else that we can see just from this uh, search right here, we can also check that um, this malware actually went ahead and posted something to this device right here. And we can actually inspect what they posted following the HTTP stream. And from what it appears, it looks like they posted, um, you know, system process information to that server or that device, I mean. 
So in conclusion, from this exercise, we learned that the user Monica Steele was infected with that uh, TrickBot malware at 1940 UTC. We know Monica's host IP, which was 10.8.19.101. We also know where she got infected from, which was the URL at uh, 185.253.210.130. So there you go, guys. This was analyzing network traffic with Wireshark. And the specific uh, analysis we were doing again was the funky lizard network traffic analysis. Thank you.